Jobs did 30 minutes of mindfulness meditation every day of his life. And when they measured his MRI of his brain, apparently the, it was the brain age of a 27 year old old when he was 56. So it has a reverse brain aging process apparently proven by science, not me. And from time immemorial, 5,000 years ago, our rishis and all our sages told us that mindfulness practices, meditation and all the things for the mind can actually keep us super healthy. So much of anxiety and imagination. Mindfulness is nothing but going from a mindful to mindful. So when you remove one L from mindful, you will bring yourself back to the present moment. And that's what mindfulness is. So I'm going to leave you just with three, two, maybe four little words, which are four techniques on how to practice mindfulness. So the first practice and the very basic principle in standing for M is mindfulness meditation. Any sort of meditation, deeply going inwards and creating a centering practice for yourself, minimum 10 minutes up to 30 minutes a day. Next word for moms is O. O stands for one pointed attention. Whatever you're paying attention to should have your complete attention. Otherwise, we shouldn't be doing it at all. Correct? Here I was so happy and proud to see in this auditorium, nobody's do, looking here and also doing their texting. That means you've come here, dedicated your time to learn and you all have a growth mindset. That's why you're here. Third tool is called, mystics called it mantra. It is a word from your own faith that you make your go-to word. Whatever you pick is not important. It's important that it's a proven word or phrase, not more than four words in a phrase, which give you, over the years, people have used it. And when you pick one phrase as your own, then don't change it. Keep one mantra, and then what happens is it becomes into your subconscious. So if you're having a fear situation or you're having a problem where you have to uh, face something that's hard, your mind will automatically go to your mantra. You'll be able to manage the fear or the dis-ease easily. And the final S is slowing down. See, we all live in a hurried world, right? Are there times when you feel that you're hurrying a lot? So you slow down. Slowing down is a very important mindfulness practice. I'm not talking about sloth. I'm not talking about laziness. I'm saying whatever you're doing, do it at a slower pace. 